The Mary Gold de Ross Native American one dollar coin was a great challenge to sculpt because it had a lot of different elements on it when, that when combined told a really interesting story. So here's the image of a coin that I had the unique pleasure of working on. Here's Mary Golda Ross doing her calculations and writing down the equations. If you notice, she does not have a calculator or a computer. This slide rule is all that she had. I included an astronaut in the coin to represent John Harrington, who, um, who was an astronaut and did some extravehicular activity spacewalks. The astronaut in particular was difficult to sculpt because he's placed at the edge of the coin, which is typically where you sculpt things in very low relief, but, in, but he needed to look robust, so that was a challenge. And I included an equation in the coin because she um, created equations that were instrumental in getting the rockets into space, and it was very exciting to me to, in a way, indirectly collaborate with NASA because it was NASA who actually replaced my placeholder equation with a, a real equation. There's no simple equation or, or formula that you could really just get because it, it's, it's very complex in nature for the work that Mary Golda Ross did and that was to be able to launch a rocket and take it out of the Earth's atmosphere. It was just great for me because just like with the Apollo commemorative coin, it was an opportunity to participate in something that represented uh, space exploration and travel and an individual who was uh, responsible for a big part of that and um, uh, deserves to be better recognized. So it was really cool.